saku nyamot nah kawainkar nali joka zihui tebeta zindi joka mbora di ngose di sara ndi sibiru bila di bisara masih kamu Aduh malala bambo ranji kandi ne banza nzira ti kuina mbakana waho pa ala bambo ranji bola ne kosa ba misala impula iba ota subala shelu ma mas kaba ota Water has to be boiled in every home. They boil water to drink. How do they boil the water? Firewood. Where is the firewood coming from? Trees. The children who grow up now, they see the big trees, but they don't realize that this was part of a very big forest. Those are areas which have been very much affected by climate change. And of course, that can be linked to health aspects. The most common problem is that there is water problem. We have a river passing called River Kuywa, and all of them take water from River Kuywa. So you find all the drainages of the rain in the river. In the same river, because it passes, they believe it is safe water, they wash in it. Even right now, I've already diagnosed two decent diarrhea with blood. What happens is when you have less rainfall, is there's less water, so more bacteria, right? And then there's more sharing of the water. In the sense, then you share out the water between animals and human beings. We did stakeholder consultations across the province, and what came through very clearly was that people really have a need for clean drinking water in a way that's both affordable and doesn't compromise their health. The smoke of cook stoves burning the eyes. So Carbon for Water is a campaign where 4,000 health workers and another 4,000 drivers go door to door and visit 900,000 homes. In those homes, we will install the life straw that filters water. And as a result, the need for boiling water is no longer there. Bringing carbon finance to this sort of project is really revolutionary. Carbon credits have paid for the water filters and uh, it's paid for the implementation of the project. And without that, we simply would not have seen it on the scale that we have done. We are freeing up cash internationally because we generate emission reduction. There is very rigorous monitoring and auditing involved. We're actually not paid a cent until we have documented very clearly how much water was filtered, by how many people, how often. Traditionally, carbon finance has been used to reduce emissions from large, what we call single point sources, such as power stations in one place, or a big cement factory. The difference here is that you have thousands, in fact hundreds of thousands, of small interventions in people's households. And each small intervention together makes a very, very significant emission reduction. This project will reduce CO2 by 2 million tonnes per year. That in itself makes it one of the biggest carbon reduction projects in the world. We are doing what carbon finance for many was really meant to do, which is assist people to have a higher quality of life right down at the grassroots level. 